So back in December, it says December 16th, um, Ken Ham posted this first comment. So William Lane Craig is held up by many as a great apologist for Christianity. But the fact is he represents one of the major problems with much of the church and most Christian institutions. Watch his short video and see a pseudo intellectual arrogance that mocks God and his word and instead exalts the word of fallible and sinful man above God's holy and fallible word. His, he is destructive to the church and will have to give an account to God for his blatant compromise of God's word and for leading many astray. Yeah. Now, here, Ken Ham launches an attack, not on my view, but on me personally. He questions my personal character. He accuses me of being a pseudo-intellectual uh, and of being arrogant. And with respect to the first, I think that is just easy to refute. Uh, I publish with the finest academic presses in the world and in peer-reviewed professional journals. There's nothing pseudo-intellectual about the scholarship that I'm engaged in. And as for arrogance, this is a very, very serious personal uh, charge to make against another uh, Christian, uh, because that's a terrible sin and character fault. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And if I thought for a moment that I were arrogant and that God was opposing me, I would step down from Christian ministry, Josh. I would step back and get out of the public arena and try to put my spiritual house in order before ever daring to be a public representative of Christ again. So I take this charge of arrogance with extreme seriousness uh, and, and just pray that this is not the case, uh, but that with humility, I can conduct an honest inquiry. And I think if you read my work, you'll find that in no way is this mockery. The idea that I would mock God and his word is just an astonishing uh, personal uh, attack. Uh, I want to exalt God and to submit to the truth of Scripture. Uh, and my struggles with the historical Adam are precisely an attempt to do that. So I think that this sort of personal character assassination is quite uncalled for.